guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Fass from Kujin and today we are back again with more despair, more darkness, more Wednesday. Episode 2. Yeah. War is the lonely loneliest number. Episode 2. <laughs> Something like that. So last episode, let, let's, let me remind, remind you that she's seen the show. I yeah. haven't. So I'm gonna shut up right now. Yeah. So last episode, we got reintroduced to Wednesday, who's a teenager now, and she's going to school. She was in a normal school, and then she, she attempted to kill someone who bullied Pugsley. So... <laughs> Not good. She really is the piranha! Yes, so her parents decided to send her to Nevermore, the school where they went to when they were kids. And uh, she wasn't happy about that. She really rebels against the idea of becoming just like her parents. And she thinks that's all they want, to yeah. turn her into themselves. So, the so she planned on leaving the school, but the mystery that's going on at the school caught her attention. So now I think she might stay and try to figure out what's going on because there's a creature with big eyes going around killing people, but it seems intelligent enough not to kill everyone. It saved Wednesday last episode because a guy, Rowan, thank you, whose mom <laughs> drew, like she drew a picture of, it looks like Wednesday, she's near the fountain at the school and the tree is burning and she says that she told her boy, you know, if that girl comes to the school, you need to stop her. It's your destiny. And then she died. So he tried to kill Wednesday, and the creature saved her. Uh, we also know that uh, her dad is uh, wanted for murder. We don't know the details of that yet. And the sheriff's, uh, the sheriff of the town that's nearby, near the school, he's really, you know, convinced that there's something going on at the school. He wants proof. He's after them. Like, he's got this whole, you know detective, you know, bored, and he's looking into it, and he's got prejudices against the people at the school, just like pretty much everyone in the, in the town. Yeah. And his son um, might be a future lover for Wednesday. We don't know. They have a thing. Ooh. They might be friends in the future. Mm. He's helping. Mm. He's helping. So, yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of other, of other things, but you remember, so I say we jump into episode two and see what happens next. All right. Don't forget to subscribe, you guys, if you want to see more of these episodes and check out our Patreon for the full-length reactions. In the meantime, let's go. This story is about to take a dark turn. It, huh? It wasn't dark already? <laughs> How could you miss a dead body? Because it wasn't there. No footprints, no blood, no mm. sign of a struggle, nothing. Nada. Did you get a good look at this monster thing? It didn't stick around for a chat. Maybe it's one of your eyes. classmates. The mayor said those were bear attacks. Disagree on that. Even though there's no evidence that a crime was even committed. Prejudices. I forgot, you won't teach the good outcasts here, right? <laughs> like, people are usually the biggest monsters out there, so fuck off. <laughs> I heard a noise in the forest and I went to go investigate. That's when I stumbled upon the attack. Then I ran into Bianca Barclay and I told her to go for help. She ran into Bianca and then the body disappeared. Hello. Hmm. I'm gonna play the detective the entire time, suspecting well, everyone. Play nice. Or I will call the man. Someone is trying to cover up Rowan's murder. Yep. That's the only reason to scrub the crime scene. You and I both know that there's a monster out there. Rowan is his latest victim. Sheriff. Edgar Allan Poe said, believe nothing you hear and half of what you see. Clearly mm. Nevermore's most famous alumni picked that up here. Hmm. Hmm. No wonder he became a drug addled madman. <laughs> ha ha! Doppelganger? It's not him, it's someone with his appearance, maybe? Help me understand why you would claim you witnessed a murder. I know what I saw. It's okay to be confused about things. I'm here to help you process your emotions. The emotions are a gateway trait, they lead to feelings, which trigger tears. Mm. I don't do tears. No, Look at her do tears by the end of this. Have you considered your antisocial tendencies might be motivated by fear of rejection? If you were to reject me right now, I would not be upset. <laughs> you can't get rid of me that easily. It came from somewhere, girl. She's trying at this. You made it through an entire session without trying to escape. I'll take that as a win. But she wants to uncover the mystery now. She's not leaving. Oh no, she's she's in to stay. But you see Dr. Kimbot too? You should know I'm legally required to be here. Me too. Ordered. Why did you do something bad? I wasn't sure what happened. 
and then I heard... Everyone, including your father, believes I made it all up. I believe you. Thank you. But then again, I don't trust anyone, so I don't trust him either. He might Please, be the, 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 the creature. <laughs> You're never more gossip queen. What's Rowan's story? Other than being a weird loner? Xavier Thorpe's his roommate? You know, if you had a hmm. cell phone, you could just text him and ask him. People huh. we know are connected. The poke up droops for no one. What is the poke up anyway? Park canoe race? Park foot chase? No rules. You could grab a brush. Yeah. Wanna take a stab at being social? I do like stabbing. I didn't knew she was gonna say that. <laughs> It'll cut into my writing time. No worries. Just as long as you're lakeside cheering us to victory on race day. She would like to win though. Competition. A way to go against your nemesis. I need to speak with Rowan. I can't find him. It will be possible, I'm afraid. He's been expelled. Is that I think she might have covered up. Like she disappeared and then Rowan appeared. I think she might she's trying to keep the sheriff away from the school. Why? Because she doesn't want the attention. She disappeared right before he showed up. Hmm. Your mother started having visions around your age. They were notoriously unreliable and dangerous. She thought she might be losing her mind. May I go now? Not until you've picked your extracurricular activity. Oh, she's going to be forced to participate. <laughs> Weems is clearly trying to keep tabs on me. Keep an eye on Bowman. Don't light your fingers out of his sight. <laughs> what the fuck? How does that work? Uh. After I passed out, who did you tell? I went straight to Weems and let her handle it. I'm <laughs> telling you, it's the principal uh, what are you? covered up the Alto, murder. Soprano, or just Loco? God, she's a dog whistle! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Perfect what was bitch. That? A note only dogs can hear. Ever shot a bone arrow before? At my brother. <laughs> Look at her bullseye. Any questions? When's the last time you saw your roommate, Rowan? Oh, you mean the one that was killed by a monster? The Harvest Festival. I haven't talked to him since. Rowan's always been a little off, but uh, the last couple weeks he's been more erratic. So what's the deal with you and Tyler? Jealous. He's doing me a favor, driving me out of town. Yeah, word of advice, steer clear. Because Tyler and his friends are a bunch of jerks. They can't stand the fact that this school is the only thing propping up their podunk town. Says the boy whose life was served to him in a silver platter. Hey, you know, girls in glass houses... To throw bigger stones. At least I'm not an elitist snob. I knew it. She's so good. So he was friends with the people who probably harassed her, and he's going to the psychologist on court order, so yeah, he did some shit too. Might not be all rainbows and sunshine. I don't know. He didn't tell us why, though. Rowan! We need to talk. I'm not allowed to speak to anyone. You had a lot to say the other night when you tried to kill me. You told me I was destined to destroy the school, remember? Where did you get that drawing? I just went into the woods to clear my head. Mm -hmm. Wednesday. He doesn't know what went on last night, so it's not him. Come on, thing. Yeah, he's coming out as someone else. Look at him do that. You don't want to say shit, but... Huh? Uh? But yeah, even more than that, I'm calling maybe the principal or something. Okay. Bianca called, you know, went to the principal to tell her about what was going on, and then the body disappeared. She would be trying to protect the school from investigation. Prove me wrong! This is just this! <laughs> yeah, I knew something was up with her. <laughs> and she's all in white. It makes sense. She's a blank canvas. She can turn into anyone. A lefty would have Good night. I see you finally made a friend. Even if it is a plant. I go for quality over quantity. <laughs> I want to know, learn more about the sirens too. So, f from what I know about sirens, and I'm guessing it's the same in the show, like, she's probably popular because she's a siren. I'm guessing, like, her song, her voice can attract people. Makes sense that she's in the choir too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Nice I doubt Wednesday is impressed by your tricks. Minute, you're a little impressed. I've been better. <laughs> Who can tell us the name of this beauty? Dendrophylax and Denii. Mm -hmm. Otherwise known as the ghost orchid. First discovered on the Isle of Wight in 1854. It's a challenge. <laughs> Looks like you may have competition for first chair, Bianca. Oh, she's not gonna like that. Wednesday. 
Perhaps you can identify the ghost orchid's greatest qualities. Resilience and adaptability. But its mere presence can change the ecosystem, causing the established plants to reject it. Usually because the native species is allowed to thrive unchecked. <laughs> they are That's judging the each other through yes. that. <laughs> are we still talking about flowers? Nope. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for those illuminating insights. I want you to be aware of my train of thought. So right now for the monster with the big eyes, I have the creepy woman with the big eyes just because it's fun. I have uh, the draw the guy who draws things because he has an eye on Wednesday, might be wanting to protect her. And I got Normie guy, son of the sheriff, who seems a bit suspicious as well. Okay. I'm adding Bianca to the list because I said earlier she she's the first one she she met after the attack. So mm -hmm. what was she doing around? Have you seen this before? It's a watermark from a book I'm looking for. I think it's the symbol to an old student society. The nightshades. Like the deadly mm. flower. Color me intrigued. I was told they disbanded years ago. Well, apparently not. Or kids of people who used to be in that group fast. are still around. My mother is a carnivore. I know, it can't be easy showing up mid-semester. I still feel like an outsider. Is that because you're the only normie on the staff? I've never really fit in anywhere. Too odd for the normies, not odd enough for the outcasts. There's still a handful of teachers who'll barely acknowledge me. Mm -hmm. I act as if I don't care if people dislike me. True, Deep you down, do. I secretly enjoy it. Fuck, every time I try, you know, I think she's gonna say something meaningful. She's like, she surprises you? The ability to not let others define you. Mm. That's good, though. It's a gift. Yeah. It doesn't always feel that way. The most interesting plants grow in the shade. And if you ever need anyone to talk to, the door to the conservatory is always open. Who better than previous you? She would know. She know what she's talking about. So that guy had a grudge. He didn't like his uh, roommate. His roommate. So, I mean, it's, it's set up like, oh, okay, he murdered him. He does draw things that can come to life. And the thing looked cartoonish for a show that has good CGI, so I don't know. <laughs> But that wouldn't explain the other murders. Start investigating. Careful, it's a dorm room for a teenage <laughs> boy. You might find stuff you don't want to see. <laughs> mm. Nightshade is still around. You're not supposed to be up here. How'd you get past the house master? Use your siren powers? Not while wearing this. Would it kill you to not think the worst of me for once? What do you want, Bianca? I'm sorry about Rowan. Since when did you give a damn about Rowan? And you were the one who was afraid he would do something on Wednesday. You suddenly have a thing for tragic goth girls with funeral parlor fashion sense. Yeah. Maybe it's because she hasn't tried to manipulate me. I make one mistake and you can't forgive me. She treats you like crap and you can't get enough. Okay, why are you so fixated on Wednesday? Because she thinks she's better than everyone else. Because she is. Fuck you. I not that fencing. Yet. <laughs> It's gonna be a book up finale to remember. Yeah, I hate to think what you've got planned. I like to win. You used to love my killer instinct. So from what she says, she she doesn't just attract people, she can manipulate people with her voice mm -hmm. when she doesn't wear the necklace. Like yep. Trust me, Wednesday Adams is not the girl of your dreams. She's the stuff of your nightmares. Says the siren with creepy eyes, who apparently has a killer instinct. <laughs> Incident at dinner. Oh, I'm tired. Yeah. 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 You're all in your place. You're joining the black cat. Oh, she needs to go down. Mm -hmm. You're willing to do that? <laughs> I want to humiliate Bianca so badly that the bitter taste of defeat burns in her throat. She insulted me. Yeah. Fuck her. So you're <laughs> your costume's in the tent. Costume? Costume? <laughs> oh, oh boy. She, where are your whiskers? Nope. <laughs> Ask again and you'll be down to eight lives. <laughs> You're, I mean, you're pretty lucky she agreed to the costume. Well, she needs to be part of the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the record, I don't believe I'm better than everyone else. Just that I'm better than you. Oh, oh bitch, no. yes. Let the power of power begin. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, Did you recognize the oh, story bitch. of Egan and Paul for with each team? No, not really. So that's the siren. Yeah. I would say she's cheating, but yeah, no rules, so. No rules. Oh, that's not fair. 
No frost, you could die! <laughs> more fun, more fun. <laughs> Last year had 17 deaths, hmm. But there's only 10 participants. <laughs> exactly. Oh wow! <laughs> he saw his face go like shit. Let's <laughs> go. It's over here. Stay here and make sure Bianca can't sabotage her boat. Well, fuck. Wrong time. This one is weird. You were the key. Taking a cat nap? <laughs> a whitish Wednesday? <laughs> I mean, there's a girl like Wednesday on the drawing, doesn't necessarily mean it's Wednesday. Could be someone else. <laughs> What's going on? See you later, sucker! <laughs> Damn. In a war, Wednesday would be amazing. <laughs> One woman army. Yeah! <laughs> Thing is invincible! Seriously! Yeah. It's God. The hand of God. <laughs> so you could have been all along, you just had to be more ruthless. Was your mom? Mother kept in the Aww. team. Aww. She's so much like her. It's I'm not so a bad quiet. thing. You were her Heenid. Maybe you two are more like than you think. Don't worry, Edgar Allan. I see your sanctimonious smirk. Your penchant for riddles was legendary. And this might be your cleverest yet. The opposite of moon. Sun. A world between ours. Mm. Nether. Beginning and end never found. Circle. Every rule has one. Exception. No. Oh. The answer will give a Yay! Sound. Iconic. Yes! You heard the call of the people? Yes. It needed to be a thing. I'm glad it was more than just a snap. It was an actual, you know, answer to a riddle. Let's go. Secret societies. Hidden libraries. My mother staring at me in a judgmental way. Mm. These are all things I've come to expect. So she doesn't necessarily destroy. She fights I mean, whoever I has the. Truth. Oh fuck! Luckily, I'm not afraid of the dark. <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> so before we start, there's a guy. I just want to point out that I love the fact that they really put details and everything. And I learned recently that Andy uh, Polka Inade is the only one in her own costume that she has colors on the stitches. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. She's very colorful. Yep. So yeah, the so um, okay, the drawing has the Wednesday looking figure with the burning tree. Doesn't and I said in the last episode doesn't necessarily mean it's Wednesday. Now we saw another Wednesday with white and blonde I'll, hair. I'll be no Wednesday. Yeah. I'll, I'll buy no Wednesday. So hmm, interesting. We also saw the other part of the drawing, which has a guy who seems to be casting some magic, attacking Wednesday or. Maybe put it, you know, setting the tree on fire and she stands in between the destruction and the guy. So I'm thinking she doesn't destroy it, she saves it. Or the fact that she's there is gonna cause something that's gonna destroy the world. I don't know, but that figure with the hat kind of looked like the pilgrim costume from, from earlier. So I'm thinking we got, last episode, we heard about the pilgrim reenactment thing where, you know, life history becomes, you know, life and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They were dressed in a similar fashion. Is it a drawing about the future? Was it something about the past? 
does that mean that the normies will attack like we she kind of described described them perfectly as this you know obsessed religious group of people who attacked uh, the minorities or the, yeah. the, 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 the different uh, the people that were different and they, they just destroyed everything in their path I'm thinking maybe it means that the normies will attack the school try to destroy the school mm -hmm. and she stands in between the destruction and and them so she's mm -hmm. gonna stop them from attacking the school and destroying but them. what we know now with the drawing is that Rowan's mother drew it 24, 25 years yep uh, ago yeah but she could have interpreted it wrong is it is it a vision from the past? A vision from the future? You don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking if it's about if it happened before, it could be happening again, and okay. she needs to stop it now. Uh, I do think like the pilgrim costume might be real. Like this is the this is really what I saw because the hat looks the same. Uh, so we'll see where that goes. We also know now that her her friend, son of the sheriff is friends Ryan Ryan thank you I, I need help to remember all the names it's fine <laughs> Ryan has done something that led him to the psychologist like he needs to go to therapy by court order so what did he do and they called you know they talked about him being friends with the people who harassed Wednesday or well, I mean that the same type of people and they all work at the same place with the costume so I don't know does that mean he's bad stuff i was suspecting him but then he did genuinely look you know surprised by what she told him about what went on with the monster so i don't know if it's if it's him if it is him that means he doesn't remember but then the creature was you know intelligent enough to protect wednesday so I, okay i i he's not my number one you know suspect uh you got check i mean uh xavier yeah who's a prime suspect just because, you know, he seems to care about Wednesday. He, ha he seems to have feelings maybe for her because she, you know, she, she, he met her and there's a reason why he remembers and she doesn't. So it meant a lot more to him than it does it mm -hmm. did to her. Uh, he fought with his roommate over, you know, the Wednesday problem, I think, because... Well, he knew that he wanted to kill Wednesday. So, he yeah, well, he fought with him over that and he was aware that he was going to try to do that, so then that makes sense that Eve would be the, the thing, or at least behind the thing, because he knew something was going to happen, so he would have protected Wednesday over it. So in that case, I'm thinking maybe the monster that killed Rowan is not the same thing that killed the other, the hikers. Okay. And if it is, and it's... You know, it's Xavier that's behind it. Then I need to know why. Maybe he's trying to protect the school. Maybe there's something there. But the thing was cartoonish with the big eyes. Like it looked, it could have looked like a drawing. So I'm thinking maybe he drew something and it, he sent it after okay. Rowan. Uh, I saw coming. I saw the principal thing coming from a mile away. Uh, well, I mean a mile away. I, 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 I'm constantly thinking when I watch shows. I'm constantly trying to decipher what's going on. Yeah. I think it's fun to do that. I know some people usually, you know, sometimes tell me, like, just enjoy the journey. But I find joy in figuring out what's going on. No, we're there to play detective, guys. Yes. So, uh, you know, I was trying to figure out what, 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 what happened and why he was there. And mm -hmm. I remember that she left the room right before he showed up. And it would make sense since the sheriff was here investigating and it kind of, it would have brought attention to the school. It would have brought attention. So either she's, you know, protecting the school because she doesn't want people to, you know, mess, mess around with, with the students and, and the, you know, the, the professors. And so she doesn't want them to miss with the, the with Nevermore. Yeah. Or even further than that, she knows who's behind the attack and she wants to protect who's behind the attack. If it's a student, that makes sense. So she's all out for her students. So that's cool. The but, that, but that will mean that she's technically enabling the murder. She did cover up the murder. She knows there was a murder and she's covering it up. Which makes me wonder what's going to happen with the parents because their son is never going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, maybe she handles it privately rather. She, she basically just didn't want people to ask questions. And she didn't want a sheriff to be snooping around. Mm -hmm. So she's going to handle the parent thing side yeah. of the situation. But uh, I can't really say she's a villain yet. Like, I don't think she's a, a villain. I think she's just, she really just wants to protect Is the school okay. and the students. And she used to be 
Morticia's co-captain. So I think like she kind of was her Enid. We'll see. Uh, usually I am not, you know, f not fond of the characters that are all dressed in white because it's it's a sign of purity. It's, it's a sign of innocence, and it's never a mis it's never unintentional when they do that when they dress them all in white. It ca it kind of looks like they try to make her appear like an innocent bystander way too much. Mm -hmm. But the fact that we discovered that she covered up the murder in episode two, uh, I know there's not many episodes, but still. It's too, you know, obvious that she would be in cahoots with whoever but did that. But I like the fact that you pointed out that since she can uh, shape shift, and she's, she's a blank she's canvas. Always, she's a blank canvas. So that means we can't really trust anyone we see because it could be her. Mm. Then it all comes down to can we trust her as a person? If she was friends with Morticia, maybe. It all depends. Was she a good friend with Morticia or not? Enough to be her co-captain. We'll see. We will see. But yeah, for the monster with the big eyes right now, my main suspect is, is Xavier because yeah. of his interest with Wednesday, because of what he knew. It's ob I mean, it's obvious. They could literally showed us that he had a fight with, with the guy before he died and that he was around. Bianca said he knew. So like, he re he's really suspicious. So if it is him, it's obvious. If it's not him, it's it's a way to throw us off the, the, mm -hmm. the, the track. Uh, if it's not him, I maybe the sheriff's son has a thing in the whole thing. The, though he seems, like I said, truly suspicious, like surprised of what went on in the forest. He's surprised of all things weird, all things mm. creature. But he did follow his father in the woods when he went to investigate what happened, which I think is suspicious. There's a reason why he covered his he covered himself and he, he followed. Um, he did something in the past, which I'm still looking at. I want to know what it is. He doesn't seem to have that much of a great relationship with his dad. Definitely not. Definitely I mean, not. You, you heard it, but uh, the mom seems to be like a sensible subject. Yes, yes. And it's the fact that, you know, for a guy who was friends with people who seem to hate everything weird, he went to Wednesday's defense quite fast last episode. Or maybe he used to be friends with these people. That's what I'm thinking. And something, something changed. Happened and he's not friends with them anymore. That's my train of thought. I'm like, what went on? Like, to make you first stop being friends with them. So I'm guessing they all did something and he's the one that took the blame and now he's suffering the consequences. So he's separating himself from the others. But even further than that, I'm like, also, oh, what happened that made you change your mind about the the, the students at Nevermore? Because if you were friends with these guys, I'm supposing that he shared the mentality. Shared their view. Yeah. And now he seems to be all in for the all things weird and he protects Wednesday. So I'm like, hmm. And he's against his dad who's, you know, very against Nevermore, who wants to, you know, blame them for a lot of shit. So... I'm thinking, like, what happened? Did you get turned? Did something change you? Uh, were you saved by someone different? Like, uh -huh. there's something that happened there, but uh, we'll see. As for Bianca, I also don't trust her. Uh, the thing, the, the the thing with the necklace makes me uh, paranoid. So now every time I'm gonna see her, I'm gonna be looking for that necklace to be sure she can't control anyone. But then is again, it on? Is it on? Does she is has it on? It? Is it off? Yeah, because she could be controlling a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So we don't know who, you know, if uh, anyone doing anything could be behind, you know, she could be the one manipulating them yeah. to do but shit. But that's the thing, though. Um, if, if, you, if you just look at it, because if people distrust you, only on the fact that you can manipulate them. But the thing is, okay, while we were, I was saying this, my brain went somewhere. I'm like, now that we're questioning everyone's actions, I'm thinking... Could people be doing shit like, uh, I, I forgot his name again, Warren? Ro Rowan. Rowan. I keep calling him Warren. Rowan attacked yeah. Wednesday because his mom apparently told him to, you know, protect the school and stuff. But like, now I, I would be questioning what he's doing. Like, Bianca has a grudge against Wednesday. Who's to say that she, like, he picked a book. She said his, he said his mom drew the picture, but now we found a book with a page missing. So did she draw it? Or did he pick it from there and went with a story that Bianca told him? Because she could have done that. She could have been manipulating. Like, now you, no, no matter if I'm totally wrong or even a little bit right, you have to hide any reaction but honestly, you have. Honestly, I did forget. Forget? 
I did forget uh, about what happened with that so i can i won't be any help for you in any case i think it's i think it's interesting because like like i said he said his mom drew the picture but then the book has a page missing which is the other side of the drawing so if he took that in the book his mom didn't write it unless her mom did write the book that would be a stretch but maybe but still like it's making me question the whole thing because it is maybe a that. book from the secret society yes and a lot of people we know is her parents included were in that still and i mean we also know that you know doesn't it's not because the society is gone that it's completely gone i know vampires have been there since to, since forever so <laughs> people that were part of the society could still be there or kids of the people that were in the society could still be there and mm -hmm. change things or use that i don't know but i'm thinking it's kind of like he was nice to us and then out of nowhere, and he had a bout with Bianca too, like he, and she was aware that, you know, he, I mean, he had a fight with Rowan and stuff, like, uh, with Xavier, so sorry, Rowan, no, yes, Rowan, Rowan had a fight had with, had Xavier, with Xavier, and she was aware of all that shit, and she went to see her ex, and she was like, oh, I thought you, you know, I mean, you care, but I'm sorry, so like, no one is supposed to believe he's dead, but then she believes it, so I'm guessing, I mean, I'm guessing she could be behind it too. So she's also one of my suspects because she can control anyone. So she could have Unless been. Unless she was just talking that he technically left. He's not in the school. He's been, he's been expelled. I'm thinking she could have used him because of the fighting and stuff. Uh, even like if the story behind the, the picture is, tr is true that his mom drew it, she could have used that to manipulate him into attacking Wednesday because she has a grudge and she said she has a killer instinct. And there's, I mean, she manipulates people. She, she's in it for blood then? <laughs> yes, and she, I mean, there's a reason why Xavier broke up with her. As she said she made a mistake. I think she manipulated someone and it turned bad. And he, you know, he, that was so bad. He was like, okay, no, fuck that shit. I'm out. Okay. So they are all together in my pit <laughs> of sus suspects. Everyone's a suspect. I'd rather, you know, suspect everyone. Um... Right now, the only one I don't suspect I mean, is Wednesday. <laughs> if you sus if you suspect everyone, you're technically right. Yes, I know. Because one of them is a culprit. I know, but uh, I'm liking some of these theories, so we'll see where it goes. But the important thing is that it's keeping me on my toes and it's making me interested in watching the next episode. Right. So it's always fun, by the way, to see Wednesday go murder. And, and finally got your... Yes, the yes. Show. I asked her if we were going to hear the song. I or... said shit. If we were gonna hear the clap, I kept my mouth shut, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, I'm loving it again. It looks amazing, especially like when they were in the forest in this episode with all the lights and stuff. I, I thought it looked beautiful, especially for a night scene because yeah. night scenes are tough to shoot, and for it to look this good, I thought it was great. And uh, it's just really fun. Like Wednesday's sarcasm slash truth is really fun to to see on screen. So, yeah. So far, so good. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next two episodes right away, they are on Patreon already. You can check them out. The link is in the description below. And if you don't want to, the next one will be on YouTube next week, guys. So stay tuned. We're going to see you then. Bye.